Namaste. Welcome to Swar Matters, your online hub for learning Indian classical music. In today's episode, I am going to talk about the physiology of sound production, or in other words, how we produce sound. If you want to learn to play an instrument, you first need to get familiar with your instrument, correct? You need to know the function of each part, its special characteristics, and the limitations. Similarly, for all of us, our throat is our instrument, and we should know how to use it properly to produce the best sound. We all know that sound is produced as a result of vibration. The human voice is no exception. Our vocal folds, which were known as vocal cords earlier, vibrate when we exhale air and produce sound. Let's understand this mechanism. The body parts involved in sound production are the lungs, diaphragm, larynx or voice box, vocal folds or cords, glottis, oral cavity, nasal cavity, tongue, lips, soft palate, etc. Voice production has three stages. First, voiced sound, second, resonance, and third, articulation. We'll check one by one. First, voiced sound. It involves two subsystems, air pressure system and vibratory system. Air pressure system. We need to have the correct amount of air passing through the vocal folds to power our voice. Controlling the air passing through the vocal folds ensures proper vibrations of the vocal folds, which then produces sound or voice. The organs involved are nose, larynx, pharynx, diaphragm, lungs, and chest muscles. Then vibratory system. Our vocal folds are located in the voice box or larynx. When looking from the front, it looks like this. When looking in an open mouth from above, the vocal folds look like this. When the air passes through the vocal folds, it makes them vibrate, which produces voiced sound. The amount of stretching of the folds and the vibration frequency decide the pitch of the sound at any given moment. Then this voiced sound is resonated, which leads us to the second stage of voice production, resonance. This stage involves the resonating system. The voiced sound produced by vocal folds passes through our throat, nasal cavity and oral cavity, where it gets amplified and resonated. The primary reason we sound different from each other is due to the difference in the shape and size of these parts. Third stage, articulation. The tongue, soft palate, teeth, and lips play the primary role in the articulation of sound. They are called the articulators. The articulator further modify the voiced and resonated sound and make it a recognizable sound for the individual. Now you have fundamental information concerning the physiology of sound creation and singing. Next time, I will discuss vocal exercises to maintain a good singing voice. Please let us know if you have any questions and share your suggestions and comments. See you next time. Until then, Namaste. Continue learning about Indian classical music by subscribing to our channel. 
please support us by liking and sharing our videos.